The crowd in a frenzy behind the goal, and there it is! The Portland Thorns win the NWSL Championship! Next year, I think we're going to be back with a vengeance. Um, it starts now. I'm, I'm ready to get prepared for next season already. I, I'm already hungry for it. This hurts a lot. There is no finish line for us. There absolutely is no finish line. Now, Crystal Dunn, we didn't mention her, but she was one of the big additions to this league. She was a 2015 MVP, and she comes down, joins the Courage, one of the big additions. It's a North Carolina team that is fast, physical, and fired up for revenge. Dabinia was the player who did not get to play in that final because she was injured in the semi. Hinkle ahead for McDonald. North Carolina in the 92nd minute. And Mallory Pugh blasts it into the back of the net just like that. The spirit on the board. But ultimately it was North Carolina's night. Yeah, it was an entertaining night of football. The courage roll four to two over the Washington spirit. In the end, North Carolina gets the one goal they need and perfection still exists. Hello, Mayor Matthias! Stengel heads it in and we are even! Brittany Ratcliffe with a rocket! to the final. North Carolina is still unbeaten, although that perfect win mark now blemished with the one draw. North Carolina couldn't buy a goal. It's McCall Zerboni finally breaking through for North Carolina, and it's level in the 82nd. And it's no surprise that's McCall Zerboni, their team leader, coming up big. It's eight unbeaten to start the year for North Carolina. North Carolina Courage have tied the NWSL all-time start in nine games, 7-0-2. It's a long season and every game is a battle and um, for me, we're happy with the win, but it's, it's back to the drawing boards again. Total domination by the North Carolina Courage. They remain unbeaten. Missing six very key players due to international duty. Somehow find a way to get a point. Could this team possibly run the table without getting beat? I think this is a team that could do it. Since delivery. Ratcliffe, great job to keep it in play, oh no! She's done it! Ratcliffe with a ridiculous goal in the 94th! <laughs> she did the dirty work to keep it in play! And a sensational strike that has stunned everyone here at Wake Med! And North Carolina are on the verge of losing their first game of 2018! They are far and away the most accomplished team in the league here in 2018. Here's Dunn. Oh boy, McDonald in the air and one touch! Oh my goodness! It's lonely at the top of the mountain. North Carolina is so far ahead of the rest of the league and they proved it again today. A 4-0 victory for the North Carolina Courage. A scoreless finish that feels victorious for Utah. I think it's always been a question if you know we can hold up against the best teams in the world. And everyone talks about the NWSL being one of the best leagues in the world. And 
this is just a good experience for us and a good test for us to be able to prove that. And it's just one step closer to establishing ourselves within the international game as opposed to just the U.S. So. This one sent through. Lynn Williams sends it across. Opportunity for North Carolina. It's in. Towards the top of the box. Montre on the first time. It takes a deflection at D'Angelo. So there it is. The North Carolina Courage are your first ever ICC Women's Tournament champions. Uh, it was a gritty performance, so uh, we're, we're proud of that, and, and we're happy to be going home with this inaugural trophy. Ball camper, had her back across. What a save! Kept out a second time. Follow up is off the post and in. North Carolina's leveled it at the death. It's Williams. One one. Absolutely unbelievable finish at Memorial Stadium. Last minute, spectacular goal from North Carolina. We've seen them do that all season. And McCall Zerboni gets injured midweek. Denise O'Sullivan is going to have to pick up a little bit more weight in the midfield. We miss McCall, you know, you can't replace McCall. You have to somehow add percentages up in, in positions in the midfield and in the fullback areas, but you cannot replace McCall. A final score, North Carolina 5, Houston 0, so history in the making this evening. Oh wow, 17 wins, 57 points, and 53 goals. Welcome inside Providence Park, the de facto home of the 2018 NWSL playoffs. This match being moved from Cary, North Carolina due to the effects of Hurricane Florence. <laughs> Jess McDonald, Dallin onto it now in the box and in the goal! That is how fast they can strike. So the Chicago says, I see you offense of North Carolina, and they're just a couple of inches away from having the lead in this match. U.S. The shot is a hard one, and it's in! The North Carolina Courage get the 2-0 win over Chicago to go back to the NWSL championship game. I think they withstood some pressure in that first half, and they were able to come out and find their way in. I've been so impressed by them, and truly some of the best players um, in the world um, on their team. They're a fantastic team. They've proven it all season. Um, they, in every single category, actually. Um, so there's no denying how special they are of a team and how special their season has been. Welcome to the NWSL Championship game on Lifetime, coming to you from Portland, Oregon, in Providence Park. The scenario, similar to last year's final, North Carolina, the Shield winners, the best regular season team against the number two seed, the Thorns. The setting, though, very, very different. Providence Park provides the best atmosphere and home field advantage in women's world football. Here comes Lynn Williams after a missed touch in the back from Portland. Williams up high off the post and it's in! Davinia puts North Carolina on top! Do it again this time. She's gonna take Matthias for the shot and the header. It's in. Jess McDonald does it again. I think three 
goals against this North Carolina team is a really steep hill. The Curran connection just couldn't get it today. The North Carolina Courage, your 2018 NWSL champions. Somebody just said you're 24 seconds from being unbeaten, man, which is incredible <laughs> in this league. We finished our chances today. We took control of the game. And so all the hard work, the hard work that we put into this season, I mean, it, it completely paid off for this team. Today they produced everything you could ask for, I think, in a performance, and it was a good start to finish. But yeah, I don't think we can claim the underdog anymore. I think that one's gone. I think it's, I think it's, it's officially finished. I think it's officially, officially finished.